the next thing that I'm going to do is check the real road uh, for suitable site distance. Uh, in order to do that, I need to run the model viewer command and uh, I review the site distance in a 3D environment. So before opening up model viewer, I'm just going to select on auto model and that'll generate a design mesh for me. After I've done that, I can select on model viewer. Total model is the surface created from auto model and um, I'm going to also show the base surface, uh, natural surface. If I had aerial imagery, I could uh, drape aerial imagery over that, that surface, but I'm not going to uh, in this example. So by selecting OK, uh, model viewer will load up and we can see the, uh, the road in 3D all rendered up. Um, so like any sort of 3D viewer, you can pan and, and rotate. I find this cube uh, very useful to uh, uh, zoom to a particular view. So let's uh, run the site distance analysis. I might just go to a top view here. Um, so underneath the analysis tab, You'll see the site distance. You'll also see that we can do a drive along the road and I'll, I'll check that out later. Uh, but I'm going to run uh, the site distance command. What you need to do here is firstly set up a, a site distance table. And by doing this you select what uh, uh, you want to check for. Is it uh, stopping site distance, distance? Is it overtaking site distance? Uh, when you install the software, you will have a whole bunch of different OSROADS tables that you can use. So in this case, I'm going to go for uh, OSROADS 210 car, uh, SSD for stopping site distance, um, 80 kilometers an hour, and I'll do the check every 10 meters. If the design speed changed, I could select um, a chainage range, uh, pick a different style and select override and that would allow me to uh, override that portion of the road. So just to have a quick look at how these styles are set up, I'll just open up the, the style editor here. Really all it is is an eye height, an eye offset, um, so located at the vehicle, uh, a target height and a target offset. If we get visible sight lines, they'll be coloured green. If they are obstructed, then they'll be coloured red. The other thing that's included in this sight criteria is a grade correction table. So as we're going uphill, um, we'll have a minimum effect on the sight distance because of uh, braking distance. As we're going downhill, uh, we'll have a positive effect on the sight distance. Um, so the software has a lot of uh, these grade correction tables set up uh, for, for the different site criteria, uh, and the software will just read the longitudinal grade of your road and automatically apply the grade correction. So if I select OK, um, you can see the software has um, calculated the site distance and I get a whole bunch of green and red lines. Uh, the the red lines are indicating um, that we're not getting uh, suitable sight distance. If I just wanted to see the red lines and not the green, using this checkbox I can tick on and off the display of the, the, line, uh, the sight lines there. And if I wanted to calculate the analysis from the other lane, uh, I just select on reverse direction. You can see the software um, calculating the sight distance uh, from the other direction there. So in order to fix up this region for adequate, uh, adequate sight distance, I simply right click on the road and common civil sight design commands are available. Um, you know, I can open up a cross section window at that point. If I right click, I can open up the vertical grading editor too. So the area of interest is this first um, uh, VC and in order to resolve the site distance it seems I'll probably need to, to lower that um, or increase the vertical curve length. But you can see as I'm lowering the design 
uh, the check is updating it and if I lower enough I'm almost hitting two meters of cut there you can see that um, I've, I get no red uh, obstructed lines the other area I'll need to resolve is this is this uh, corner perhaps I increase the radius of the horizontal curve or maybe I need to start playing around with the um, the elevations around uh, that region but it's really as simple as that to check uh, the site distance uh, using civil site design uh, by selecting the report button uh, this will output a report uh, basically reporting the check done at each section if it's highlighted blue like this area here is um, then that's telling me that that area is obstructed uh, it tells me useful information like the obstructed site distance um, so what site distance we could we could get at that uh, that area uh, once again if I tick off show visible then I only see the obstructed regions um, and uh, this table will update as as I play around with the design and the results can be outputted to a an AutoCAD table or export it out to a, um, a CSV file. So it's just one way of reviewing the uh, the details there. So uh, yeah, that's one uh, method for uh, checking for suitable site distance.